Hello YouTube, this is Derek Jansen again. Um, in this tutorial we're going to be covering some basic weapon modding. Um, again, we're going to be doing collisions and basic class setup. Our goal here will be to uh, make a weapon, I'm, I'm calling it a, a grapple beam I guess, that will, whenever you click a wall, it will pull you to that wall and if you click a player it will pull the player to you. Um, to, to make the uh, to make it a game type, if if you pull a player and he doesn't pull you back, then you kill him. And if you are both pulling each other, then you'll you'll fly back in the opposite direction. Um, so this the assumptions for this video are that you have done the SVN setup and the Visual Visual Studio setup. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it. So I'm, I'm going to make a, a game type. I'm going to call it uh, Grapple Arena. And again, we're going to make the, the default pawn class. Sorry, we need to extend. We're going to just extend UT Deathmatch again. And now we should have default pawn class equals the color of the grapple pawn. So let's go ahead and make that. Oh, let's go ahead and do the, the project properties while I'm thinking about it. Okay. Make a grapple pawn. And we'll come back to that in a minute. There's there's one more thing I need to cover in, in the, the game type here that I didn't cover in the, in the last tutorial is there's a function called init game. That you can basically set up it's kind of like post begin play but only for game types so in here we need to do some 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 weird syntax also we're going to call the initial the, the basic initializer basically set the default inventory to be our new weapon. So we have to do some stuff here, UT game, world info dot game and then default inventory if that's an array. We want the beginning one to be our new class, which we'll call the grapple gun. Let's go ahead and make that. And we're, we're going to extend UT web. I guess we'll do the shock rifle. So I guess let's um Let's start with this shooting, I guess. So, so we're going to make a simulated function. Uh, there's already one that we're going to overwrite called start fire, which takes a fire mode num. Fire mode num is basically like left click, right click, but there's some odd ones like the rocket launcher that you can use, like the, the grenade types and stuff like that. Uh, we're just going to make left and right click and however you else you fire it just be the same thing so the first thing we need to do is we need to find out where we're shooting to so we're going to need um, a local vector for that um, also to get that we're going to need to pass it our aiming vector So 
So there's a good function called trace actor actors. Sorry, it's trace, just trace. And it gives you the location where it hits uh, the normal. I guess we're gonna need that too. Um, I'm gonna pass it the aim vector. Uh, we don't care about the start, and we need to say trace factors so that we can get either players or walls. And this function returns an actor, so we need, we're going to need both the um, the normal and an actor. Thinking ahead here because I need to cast it later. So, so trace actor equals that trace. Now we need to figure out what this aim vector is. So our aim vector is our location plus a normalized vector. And the rotation of our aim, um, yeah, our base aim rotation. But that's um, that's not good enough. We're gonna need to uh, multiply that by some some distance. Let's make it in, like really high right now. So what this does again is this. Oh, this should just be vec. It's a, it's a literal here. Um, a normal vector, which, which can be anything, just has to be normal length. We want that in the rotation of our rotation, and then we multiply it by a long distance and add our location. So that should work. And, okay, so now. I might also add that this this actor that it returns is the first actor that it encounters. So so if it actually returns something, then we need to see if it was world geometry. Or if it was a one of our pawns. Let's just do this to save some time. So so if it hits a wall then we need it to we're going we're going to 